made it. We're here in Nagoya for the Wheat Fest Japan event. All kinds of stuff to look at. I haven't actually had a chance to walk around yet because I've been busy shooting and filming outside. But it looks like a pretty good show. A lot more cars than years past. This might be the biggest one ever, I think. Quality of cars is always going up because it's Japan after all. So I'm gonna walk around and see what kind of crazy stuff I see today. this event is that I finally get to see a lot of the cars that I only see on Twitter and Instagram. Cars that I've long been wanting to see, like this S2000 here. Spoon rear open fenders, spoon front fenders. Oh, there's a guy taking a picture. But yeah, also great about this building is the lighting. The lighting, when you can get this good spot like this, cast just the perfect amount of light on your car. Wow, so many S2000s. But this one, this one fucks. And this Integra over here looks like my boy Terry's car from Seattle. Similar color. This one's K swapped. Wow, oh, still retains power steering. An interesting paint splattered valve cover. So, USDM JDM inspired. Or not real JDM as the guys call it here. Hmm. Look at this R31. R31? 30? Whichever, the one with the Iron Man face. Love these things. It's got Superstar Chevron wheels. See this car here every year. A little bit more work done to it. Wow, look at all that etching. All that engraving on the radiator, on the little turbo, exhaust shield, valve cover. Holy shit. Very well done. Another great thing about this year is that I'm not working, so I don't have to judge this show. I can just walk around for the first time ever. I can walk around freely and enjoy all this. In case you forgot, Week Fest Japan has a hood space. And it is a room completely dedicated for hoods. 
and sleeping people. This Integra Type R here belongs to Masafumi Eto, who has built a DB2 or a DA, as most of you guys know it as in the past, that has won Best of Show a couple times. This is his newest project, and it's like a full ITR restoration with a custom engine bay. It's like a resto mod, basically. All this old school Comtech stuff that's like brand new, dead stock. JRZ suspension. It's crazy to see this much contact stuff in the U in the Japan. I mean, super clean execution because this car was built by Kazu Imai, who is also another amazing Honda builder. Oh, no fan. But yeah, super detailed. Like really stock looking on the outside. Stop tech brakes. Some interior. It's renowned steering wheel. Super mint interior. OEM shifter. Oh, look at the gauges. What's going on down here? Wow, Comtech exhaust. Wow, look how clean it is under here. <laughs> PCI arm. Comptech sway bar. Comptech exhaust? Oh yeah. Damn, look at this mirror setup. You sh tire shine the inside of the tire. Master details. Oh. Yeah, to us, it's an ITR, but if you look closely and you're a Honda guy, this is the shit right here. This owner wanted me to sign his engine bay. And I screwed that shit up real bad. Here's a good look at the DC5 after it's all finished up. Super clean work. One J swap Subaru. The really nice S14. Koki. It's not Koki, it's Koki. The SR swap. Just kidding, please come with it. Hmm. Hmm. It's on the cover of Drift Tengoku. R replica over right here. Kind of stancy. It's pretty busy here. Lots going on. Oh, still 80. No 
another Koki S14 Silvia. This one is a super nice engine bay. The Hypertune manifold. Hmm. Oh, this turbo manifold. It's from SNA Auto Create. A really good fabrication shop out here. Take you to look at one of my favorite S2000s. Hopefully the music isn't too loud. So they always always see this yellow S2000 in all the Rays ads, right? And I was like, how? Why do they keep using this S2000 in Rays ads? And why does the car look amazing every time they put a set of wheels on it? And as it turns out, the owner works at Rays, so that's why they always have his car in all the ads because he literally he's just there with his car. So. The thing is, there's like nothing really special about it. It's just really simple, has a good amount of parts on it. It's bright yellow, so it makes for a good catalog car, you know? But anytime it pops up on IG or on Twitter, it always just looks amazing on a set of raised wheels. Body S13. It's been working on this car for most of the year, I think. It has their custom. These are three printed fenders, I think, that you can purchase from them. Rears as well. Look at that radius and that wheel fitment and the conversion of the OEM wheel to three piece. Thing, super sick. So many people trying to take photos and stuff here. Just getting in everyone's way. We're trading positions and getting each other's way, pretty much. Super nice eight sixes. This one has US bumpers and everything. Oh, this is a US car. Never mind. No wonder it has US bumpers. This car is one of my favorites of all time coming to Japan. It's the Inazuma Works AE86. The engine bay is amazing. Look at that custom header. Carbs. You wouldn't even think this thing ran. That's how clean and tucked up it is. So good. He's also got the three piece converted OEM wheel. I don't, it's crazy how this is becoming such a trend. I can't really get on board with it, but these look cool. This crow belongs to Yohei from Lowbrain. I, I met him a couple times before. There's a crazy fabrication in the back right here. The custom cage. And then it has cantilever suspension. Hi, Joey. Hi. Oh, this is your car, right? Yeah. Yeah, Yohei. Hi. Yes, I remember you. We just finished this car yesterday. Really? It's starting subframe. Oh, shit. How long did all this take? Uh, eight months. Oh. Well, like, we, 
uh, the shop couldn't work like every day. Uh -huh. Here and there. Yeah. I saw Alexi talking about it, so I was like, oh shit, I know you. Hey, I've met him before. <laughs> Did you trailer here or you drove it here? We drove it. Yeah. Oh, this one is tow truck. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's pretty impossible to get shack in. Oh, yeah. In this, you know? <laughs> yeah. Only if they catch you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What motor does it have? Uh, motor? Yeah, what engine? OEG. Oh, okay. You wanna see? Yeah. Oh. Okay. MSR carburetor. Wow. How long have you had this car? Uh, about five, uh, no, three years, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, it used to have a uh, leaf spring on the back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It gives very bad vibration. Uh -huh. If you're walking on it. Yeah. What are you going to use it for? Drifting? Yeah, yeah drifting. Yeah, that's crazy. It looks very cool. Nice. And MR32. Custom BBS wheels. Wow. Super aggressive. Good old school Toyotas here. I saw this one on Nari Yaro's channel. Super nice Toyota Coupe. Can't say the name of it. Dag Supra. Integra. Oh, two tone FD. This Honda Beat is sick right here. Huh, BBS wheels. You can put it in your back pocket. Full custom interior. Mm. Also really like the Z31 right here. Super slept on cars, but maybe they're trash, who knows? I don't know, I've never owned one, but they look good to me. Definitive late 80s styling. S30 is really cool too. Volk GTCs. Not a wheel you see on these cars very often. Does it have a swap? Oh no, it still has the L series. But yeah, GTCs on an S30. Very cool. Wow, it's a Miata. Or MX5, sorry. A Nardo Gray NSX. The JZX here. The rare site here at WeQuest Japan. This is Del Sol on Sprint Heart CPRs. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. a couple of engine bay masters chatting it up. Mad Lane from Hiroshima area. Look at this. It's the Integra on Bugatti wheels. This is Kazuki's car. It's one of his first builds, I think. The Civic is really amazing. Look at the tail light treatment in the trunk. Hopefully I can use this footage with all the music playing in the background.
amazing. It's a Garage Excellent LS or Toyota Celsius. This thing's an amazing amount of bodywork and sheet metal fabrication. Just looks so good. One UZ swap. It's also a one UZ swap, but with a Gretty blower on top. Gretty supercharger. Good. Well, that's a wrap on this year's Week Fest Japan. Time to watch this roll out and then head back home to Osaka. Two hour drive, three hour drive, who knows? Maybe we'll need to nap along the way. Yeah.